After receiving more than 2,000 Facebook shares in less than 24 hours, a missing cockatoo named Matilda from Tracy Aviary in Salt Lake City was found this morning, but it took a while before she flew home. ABC4's Nicole Newman explains. Just stay here, I mean, literally as long as it takes. Helen Shaw. A curator at Tracy Aviary is on bird watch. After receiving a lot of attention on social media, Matilda was located around 11 this morning in a pine tree near Tracy Aviary. Um, obviously, we can't get up there to her. We've just got to wait for her to come down. For the past nearly 24 hours, Deshaw and the staff at Tracy Aviary were on the lookout for Matilda, a red tailed black cockatoo who is now perched in a tree. Uh, we're confident now that we know where she is when it stops raining <laughs> hopefully because birds don't really like to fly in the rain either um, she'll make her way down. Deshaw says Matilda was spooked yesterday afternoon by a wild bald eagle while free flying around the aviary at Liberty Park. Just really bad timing that this bird flew in very low about 30 feet above our heads when we were out with the parrot and um, she got very scared, like she recognized it as a predator. Deshaw says even birds in human care still had their natural instincts. She panicked and she flew off, you know, yelling and um, flight or fight instinct kind of kicked in. Now that she's been found, Deshaw says hopefully it will be only a matter of time before she flies home. This is their home and we are their flock, so to speak, so they'd rather be with us than not. In Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News. And we're happy to report Matilda did fly home to her keepers just a short time ago. This, by the way, the second time in recent years she has flown out of the aviary. Seven years ago, she was spooked by some Cooper Hawks that were nesting in Liberty Park. It took aviary staff five days to find her back then.